Heart blocks are so easy. We just need to look at these four things. So first degree heart block, all that is, is the PRI is simply too long. We're not dropping any sort of beats. We're not dropping any QRS complexes. Every P has a QRS. The PRI is just too long. Second degree type one, now we start dropping beats. So we look at the PRI in second degree type one. We notice it gets longer and longer and longer until it drops a beat and we see a P wave with no corresponding QRS. That is second degree type one. Second degree type two, what do we have here? We have a consistent PRI looks fine until out of nowhere, boom, we drop a beat and there's a P wave sitting there with no corresponding QRS complex. Third degree heart block also called complete heart block. This is when the P waves and QRSs, they're not even talking to each other. And how do we know it's third degree? Here's how. It's not this, it's not this, it's not this. If we're dropping beats and it's not any of these two, it's gotta be this, it's third degree heart block.